Good evening, everyone. Shiro Emiya here, or Trevor, whatever you prefer. And, uh... This is my final video blog. And with that being said, for the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, um, my story so far. And let's begin, shall we? Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally got it written down. Um, been working on it for the past like three days up until this point. So, yep. So my story so far. You know me as Trevor Mindenhall, but do you know my story? Maybe. Well, either way, I want you to listen anyway. Everyone has a story, it just needs to be told. <clears throat> so, where should I start? I suppose I should start back at the beginning. I was born on October 5th, 1998. Now, I don't remember much of anything from when I was born, so I'm not going to go into that. Anyway... I was diagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome at age 6. I'd rather not really talk about it, but let's just say it wasn't a very fun time for me. And I'm gonna skip straight on to my middle school years, cause that's really all I remember. Past, um, past that point. So moving on to my middle school years, uh, I started my year of middle school at, uh, Shea. Shea Middle School. It was pretty cool. In fact, I, uh, I actually ran to an old friend from my elementary school years at, at Shea. His name was Angel. Now, one of you watching this may remember, uh, the kid, Angel. Um, but anyway, uh, back in elementary, me, Angel, and this other kid named Andre were, from what I can remember, back in elementary, we were almost like brothers. Maybe that's an overstatement, but who knows? I mean, from what I can remember, we always used to have lunch together, you know, pair up in any group project our class was assigned. Good times. Very good times. But, anyway. Unfortunately, that didn't last very long. Because a week later, I was transferred to Roadrunner Middle School. Um, it was not a fun time at all. Let's just say, without going into too much detail, let's just say Roadrunner was basically the equivalent of a prison to everybody who ever went to that school. Me being one of the unlucky kids. Um, it was just a horrible school, and it seemed like every single day I spent there was complete bullshit and chaos. Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, after, like, after, like, a few weeks at Shea Middle School, I was transferred to Roadrunner because of a certain issue that I had at Shea. I'm not gonna go into it. Um, which, naturally, I was forced to leave behind, uh, my old friend Angel. Uh, I haven't seen him ever since Shea Middle School, so it's been quite some time. Um... He, he was pretty cool. He was he was a pretty cool guy, unfortunately. As I stated, you know, good things never last, unfortunately. So, oh, and did I mention I was also bullied at, at Roadrunner for the next two years, or the next, like, year, I think. Anyway, this kid who bullied me, bullied me was named Colton. He was an older kid, so, you know, I couldn't really do much, um... And at that time, I was still, you know, not gonna lie, I was still a wuss when it came to being bullied. Um, of course, you know, I was bullied by this kid for my, basically the entire, the entire portion of the year that I stayed at Roadrunner. He was a dick. So, Colton is, yeah, Colton was my first incident where I had been bullied. And not gonna lie, he was a bitch. <laughs> um... Anyway, um, funny thing is, I would have had to stay there at Roadrunner f 
for my high school years. But, you know, that's when my parents spoke up and said to, you know, the office staff, hey, you know, this isn't the right place for him. And, uh, yeah. So, for my high school years, I was transferred to Horizon High School. Now, this is where my life kind of took an up and down spiral. From good to worse, and then to worse to good, and so forth. So, my first year of high school, in freshman year, or ninth grade, I spent at Horizon High School. You know, with an entire school campus, and get this, 4,000 something people in the entire school campus. And, you know, naturally, in a huge high school, 4,000 people that I didn't know, naturally, I was a bit nervous, not gonna lie. First year, I was a bit nervous. And, you know, I was, you know, I was nervous about stupid little silly things like would I be bullied, would I have friends, um, you know, would I be left out of every single activity, that kind of stuff. Not gonna lie, I, w I was nervous. But, you know... I found a few friends there uh, within the first semester or the first quarter of ninth grade. I found a few friends. Um, so, you know, I was I was doing fine. At first, I thought I would be, you know, left out. But a few people came up to me the first year and said, hey, you know, you seem like a pretty cool guy. Let's be friends. And so naturally, I just agreed and said, yeah, sure. I don't really have any friends at the moment. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I naturally took them up on their offer. Anyway... Um, one of these friends was this kid named Troy. I believe at the time he was 11th grade, or, uh, a, uh, a, not a sophomore, sophomore, be 10th grade. Anyway, th this kid named Troy, he was an 11th grader at the time when I first met him. Um, and when some of you hear the name Troy, you may recognize him, you may remember him. Um, he was a bitch. And honestly... He was okay for the first, like, quarter of, he was okay for the first quarter of, um, you know, my freshman year. But after the first, uh, quarter, you know, he started being a complete bitch. He, in other words, and in simpler terms, he became more of a bully than he was a friend. And I'm not really gonna go into it, um... But yeah, he, he became more of a, a a bully than he was a friend. And, you know, he continued bullying me every single day for the, me for the next year. And, you know, this bullying continued and gradually got worse until the end of my 10th grade, or sophomore year. When, at the time, at, by the end of my 10th grade, he had graduated. So he's gone, and I'm very happy about that. Um... But yeah, he um he graduated by the end of my 10th grade. So I was fine by then. Of course I was I you know, of course I, at the time I still held a grudge against every adult in the school because during freshman year I looked up to the adults and they didn't do anything about bullying about the bullying crap. Um which naturally now I know not to put too much faith in adults when it comes to getting bullied. You either handle your, the situation yourself, or you cower in fear, like a wimp. And, you know, I haven't been bullied in what seems like a while, so I'm good. And, um, yeah. So, you know, Troy graduated. I was, I spent the rest of my sophomore year having a, a good year. Um, and, you know, while I'm at it, I can just kind of point out some of the major things Troy did before he graduated. And, you know, as regards to bullying. Uh, you know, he did things like push me into the lockers, uh, punched me, took my bag and tossed it around. And like I said, that kept on going every single day for the next year. And it finally ended by the end of my sophomore year, so. Anyway, so I guess I was bullied for like three to four years? You know, counting that kid Colton I mentioned from middle school. I guess at this point, now that I think about it, I was probably bullied for like three to four years. Seems about right. Um, however, something something good did happen in ninth grade. 
And the good thing that happened is I got an account for Google+, which I talk about in a lot of my videos during some point. Um, and yeah, so I got an account for Google+, um, and that's when I met, you know, a, a few people online, and me and these people, uh, shortly after became really good friends. Um, you know, they were there for me when I was having a rough day, and in return, I was there for them in the same cases. Um... And because I took so highly, because I, you know, took such seriousness in, you know, trying my best to stick up for people who have been bullied or pushed around at any point in their life, because I, you know, sticking up for people, that's what makes me happy in life. Because of this, I was, uh, because of this, I had became known online to some people as Defender of the Lost. Which, it's funny, it actually just started out as, like, you know, uh, you know, a, a cool-sounding title for myself when I first started my account. Because at the time, you know, I wanted to be all cool, just like everyone else did. So, you know, I made up a fake, you know, crappy superhero-type title for myself, and eventually it actually started getting mentioned in, you know, serious conversations. You know, people online started referring to me as Defender of Lost. And so now, you know, I, I just said, you know, fuck it, and I took up that title as my own. And now, to many of my great friends online, I'm known as Defender of the Lost. Well, what does that mean, you may, you may think? Well, it, it, it's as simple as this. I stick up for people who have been bullied or feel that they lost their way in life, thus earning me the name Defender of the Lost. Um, anyway... And let's get more specifically into 10th grade, shall we? About in 10th grade, let's just say, I was having a stressful time in general. Now, you know, this was probably uh, halfway through my 10th grade when I was having, uh, uh, when I was having a very stressful time in life in general. And I uh, decided to try and create uh, alter egos for myself, or an alter ego for myself, and that's when I have, that's when I created my good alter ego, which a lot of you know as Trevis. I know it's unoriginal, but hey, um, and Trevis's purpose was, he, he was, you know, meant to take over when I couldn't help in a situation or if I was too stressed to really do anything. I know the name sounds unoriginal, but you know, Trevis gets shit done nonetheless, and that's all that really matters. Later, after a certain incident, where I had almost, well, not almost, I literally beat the living shit out of uh, some random 17-year-old at the park for bullying this random 10-year-old kid, but I, I realized that I then had a bad alter ego, or a negative alter ego, which I referred to at the time as No Name. Again, it's a completely shit and unoriginal name, but, um, I mean, no name ain't really the guy to fuck with, let's just say. Um, anyway, so, you know, now I realized I had two different alter egos, one good, you know, is Trevis, and one not so good, which I've titled no name. And so, later that week, you know, a few weeks after, I was trying to gain control of both Trevis and No Name so I could use them at any given time whenever I needed them. Or whenever I needed a little extra power, some might say. And so, you know, a few weeks after a few weeks after I realized I had these alter egos, I was trying to work on a technique that I called ego syncing. Which basically as the name states, I was trying to get in sync and under control of both my alter egos. At the time, it was a bit difficult, being that, you know, both alter egos had, you know, different personalities at the time. Um, you know, there's Trevis, who, you know, became very, you know, cocky about everything. You know, Trevis, in other words, Trevis became, 
you know, full of himself, thinking that he's, like, super badass and all this, um, you know, thinking he was all this, basically. And I'm not gonna lie, at times he actually is, so, I mean, you know, he's, uh, he's useful, so I'm not gonna hate on my own alter ego. Um, No Name, on the other hand, was, uh, just pure rage and anger, and... It was it was difficult to gain control over both of them, but you know I, I did it nonetheless, and now I'm ready for anything the world throws at me. So yeah, that about uh, that about wraps up that about wraps it up my story so far. I've been through a lot in life. I've been beaten up, and at times I have felt broken. I have felt left out. I mean, I'm nothing important, but that's okay with me, you know? I am who I am. I am Trevor Mendenhall, Defender of the Lost. This was my story. It has now been told. Perhaps some of you have a story you haven't told yet. Maybe it should be told. But of course, that's your choice. Anyway, thank you for listening to my story so far. Um... And, you know, some of you may have questions you need to ask me. Maybe, maybe not. So, I'm going to give you my email. And, you know, if any of you guys have any questions about my life whatsoever, about, who, you know, where I plan to go now, or something like that. If any of you guys have any questions you want to ask me, you know, feel free to email me. My email is tmindenhall279 at gmail.com. I don't use PV Learners a whole lot, so... You know, good luck reaching me on there. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching my story so far. And uh, I have so many thank yous I want to give out to a lot of the people watching that, you know, have been just, have just been my friend and, you know, been there for me and just, in general, just existed. So thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my story so far. Um, and I'll put a link to, you know, a website that tells you what Tourette Syndrome is, if none of you guys know what it is. I'll put a link in the description, so, um, assuming I, I, assuming I can figure it out. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for listening. This has been my story so far, and I hope you enjoyed. So, with that being said, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. Don't have to, but whatever. Not like I really care. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Trevor is out. Peace.